Welcome back, everyone, to Howard Brightrow Studios Off the Mag. I had the great pleasure of interviewing Don Thompson, a New York fashion and beauty photographer. Let's jump into our conversation. There he is. How's it going? Great. Look at yeah. you, bro. Yeah, you look great. Yeah, man. You know, so got a little bit of gray beard and shit like that. Too. Yeah, I got gray. Yeah, I got gray hair. Yeah, <laughs> I'm lucky I got hair. <laughs> well, guess what? I still got hair. Yeah. No, I know. I still I know. got hair. Yeah. So everything's good. You're healthy. Oh, yeah, everybody's yeah. healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's good. Everything is good. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Since you shared your entire portfolio with me, mm -hmm. um, I chose things that I'm going to share with you so that I'll show you everything that I chose. Mm -hmm. And then you could talk about all of them, none mm -hmm. of them, some of them. Mm -hmm. But I think that what I did is I put them together kind of like in a story, the way, like if I was looking, if I was talking about you, how I would put them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let me share. I remember back in the day, you told me that you were influenced by an artist whose last name was Barnes, right? Mm. He was a painter. Oh, oh yeah. Well, well, too. Actually, that's kind of how it. Annie Barnes is the painter. Right. And the photographer is, um, uh, is Barnes also, but he's from, like, he's from Nigeria. Gotcha. Uh, James, James Barnard. James Bernard. James so, Bernard. I remember back in the day when you were painting a lot and I was there with you while you were painting, mm -hmm. you know, you explained to me all about Ernie Barnes and how he had enough, you know, and what his, and I'm seeing it, right? Yeah, I yeah, see exactly. the color. I see the color and I see the, your version of the, you know, the extended bodies and all of that in this, you know? Actually, and, you miss, actually, you miss one image that there's definitely Ernie Barnes. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But you but you get it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so okay, so tell me, you know, when you were doing this, when you were doing this picture of Erica Badu, mm -hmm. did did she know that she was gonna look like this awesome? I mean Yeah, yeah. She would be photographed in the Mojave Desert. Um, it was for the video bag lady. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Black lady was well, for, for, no, for another video. But anyway, she had on, a, um, she also had on a space suit. And I took the space suit off of her. Because I wanted, it, I wanted just to see her. Well, you, you know? certainly see her. That's really, yeah. that's why this grabbed me, you know? Yeah. I mean, it really, this is why this grabbed me. Aside from, you know, you know that I like her, but the, mm. The, the it's just it like I when I looked at the photograph I looked like I I felt like I could put my finger on the makeup and 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 rub it and you know yeah. and smudge it and, and I think I, I also think now like I'm way better way better at retouching so I could probably bring the color out even more because what I've been doing is I have been re I've been revisiting a lot of my photographs because because i'm a better retoucher okay you know yeah no i and just you know, like the I, I to me i like the entire just i love how natural it looks yeah so i'm glad that i haven't seen the the next stage of retouching yeah because this just looks so this is tight you know this is a really beautiful photograph no but the, the new retouch the retouching now that i do it's the same thing it's just a little bit more contrast gotcha it's the exact same thing. Gotcha. You don't even know the difference. You just see a little bit more contrast. Gotcha. This Talk to image, me about these guys. Okay, this image. Okay, um, in LA, downtown LA, there's a lot of homeless people, tons of homeless people, and the three guys, uh, the three guys, that's out of focus, they're homeless, and the other guy with the with the skull cap, he's a rapper. Mm -hmm. Um. And they had a lot of like expensive cars and I don't even remember his name, but they had a lot of expensive cars and all of that. And when I lived in LA, what I, what I try to do is if I went downtown to go shoot, I always try to pay those guys or give them something or whatever. And they allow me to shoot them. The one in the back in the blue shirt, he was a gangbanger. 
he was a, a crib. Um, actually, all of them were cribs. But at that point, I was obsessed with gang, with gang, with uh, gang members. I was just obsessed with them. And the fact that he was a he was a gangbanger and he was homeless was even more interesting. And he had kind of calmed down. All of them had calmed down. And when when we approached, when the artists, you know, when I said, yeah, the artists and all that, it's like, oh, sure. And it was just like really cool. But I said to him, you have to fit in, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's what this picture is about. Yeah. I forgot the name of the album. Yeah, no, it's really. Uh, it's, it's on my website, I think. Yeah, it's striking. I, you know, the, I, these, these kind of photographs always, always strike me. I love the, you know, whether you put the guy in or if it was natural. Mm -hmm. I love um, groups and yeah. you know, groups of people and when they're participating in something. And but, but, but the thing, the thing with putting him in, it wasn't a, it wasn't about putting him in and it wasn't about putting him in and just letting him uh, do it and just letting him do it. Um, we bought food. I made sure you know we bought we bought food, and that's how that's how to make the connection. So cool. we, we bought like a pizza pie for each one and we were just talking, you know, and just, just to get into the whole, the whole rhythm, the whole movement. Yeah. No, so I as natural as possible and as organic as, yeah. as possible. No, it's really, really cool. I, I, I think it's really just a wonderful photograph. I love the different textures of, it, of everybody and, you know, it just looks so real. That was- and then, and then still trying to give them, still trying to keep them personal. That's why I blur them out. Right. No, I get it. I get it. The the guy in the foreground in the front with the skull cap is this, you know, he's yeah. your he's your subject, and those guys are the background. No, they, they right, work. right, right. It really works. Again, uh, my favorite makeup artist, and her name is Lisa Jones. Mm -hmm. Um, she she's just this very very quiet person, and I stress that I stress the hell out of her. Okay. But she's so she's so creative, she's so inventive, and to me her talent goes unnoticed because she don't really push, she don't push, you know, she's not out there in your face, and that's what I like, you know. But she's she's incredibly beautiful. Um, this girl, this was a test for for um, a modeling agency, um, and she. Um, we just took it and ran with it. We did like, we did like about, uh, we did like like five, like um, about five different looks. And this was one of them. Yeah, I see why you went with this one. This one really works. I just, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm so glad. So, you know, I've been around and I still look at gazillions of photographs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm so glad that, that now that the way, and I noticed it in your pictures and I noticed it in a lot of other folks who are shooting beauty, the girls don't always look like mannequins and they don't always look like, I like that people are, you know, what you look like can be beautiful now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have to look like somebody or you don't have to be a, a specific weight or you don't have to, be, you know what I mean? Or a specific ethnicity. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. I'm, and I'm glad that, uh, that it, you know, it seems to be unfolding. I remember when you and I first started, everybody had to look like somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So eight by 10, old school, vintage robe. Tell me about this series because as you talk, I'm going to go through them because I just think that one photo builds on the next. Right. Okay. So the, the rapper the rapper name he was on MCA Records. His name is Nucci Rayo. Um, he was he was slated to be the next Biggie. All right. The Amer the album was called American Me. So when I shot it, we had we 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 uh, got clothes flown in from um from a vintage place in in LA. Uh, the manager is the the manager is the one in the suit in the background. His name his name is, his name is Nino Brown. So everything everything was fitted for everybody. Um, the clothes everything. 
the hats, the the bubble hats, all of them. They all they all are, you know. And then the thing is, I couldn't get the old cars for this one because there were supposed to be old cars in the back. So what I did was, that's why I used the fence um, to try and hide the modernness of it. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I don't think that it's, uh, the cars definitely would have added a little bit of yeah. a different twist. I don't think that these cars are taking away from it at all. Yeah. You know, no, the use of the fence was a great idea. Yeah. I, yeah, I used the, the fence. And then this is the, this is the, you know, it was shot in, it was shot in three different locations, location, Jersey City, Brooklyn. And yeah, no, Jersey City and Brooklyn. Yeah, no, these are, these are yeah. wonderful. I love the whole story that you're telling. You know, I, I, I think that I love the vintage wardrobe. You know, I'm a sucker for that. And I love the, I, I love the depth that you, that you went in the, you went out, well, out of it and you went into it and got real vintage, you know, vintage wardrobe and hats yeah. and gloves and the hairdos. And it's really, uh, yeah. I, I really am appreciative of that. And this is just a wonderful, again, you have a, an interesting knack for grabbing attitude in people that is, you could read the emotion. And so most of, so that was like, so if you even, so if you go back to like Erica Badu and mm -hmm. then you go to this, and then one of the ones that we looked at before it, you have this interesting knack of grabbing people right at that right time. I, I just, you know what I mean? It's both guys look wonderful. Well, my thing is, um, I don't like when people pose. You know, like how you have a lot of posy people when they get in front of the camera, they will do this. Mm, 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 mm. I hate that. So I try to evoke, I try to evoke them. Yeah, you know, this is, this is, this is, this, this whole setup. I love the whole, I love the whole thing. And this yes. is, you know, that guy looks like he could look like Joe Lewis, you yeah. know, it looks exactly. like that to me, exactly. you know, that the, the wardrobe looks just like if you saw an old photograph with Joe Lewis and, and somebody, one of his contemporaries, that's what they would look like to me. And that's why it's called American me. Gotcha. No, it's really, uh, it's a great series. Yeah. It's a really great series on top of the technique, you know, the eight by 10. And I love the faded edges. And, and I thought, I thought it would have been, it would have been better to control everything using the eight by 10 camera. And then I, I, I literally shot an eight by 10 and not only that, only being able to shoot two sheets each. Right. And you know I, mean? I get it. it. This is, this is great. And I think that the, just the big format made you slow down and, it made, you know, it made it feel old timey. You know, it's a, I think that that was a great psych. I think that if you, even if you didn't do it, it's a great psychology. That yeah. you and, the, and the thing is, there's nothing, there's no digital to it or nothing. It's all just, you know, scan yeah, pictures no. because even the, 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 the fading out on the edges, it was all done in camera. Yeah. No, it's wonderful. The, 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 all of these, I, I love the, the selective focus. I love the just mm -hmm. the way the light bleeds on the guys, and yeah. it's really, uh, I could see that you thought about this for a long time, you know. Yeah. And then the then the just the again the texture of this of this guy's skin, and then the amount of out of focus for the guy in the background. You could still see, you know, it's it. These are really these are really very very cool. I think over I think over the years, what I've learned, I've learned to tell people where I want them to see. This is the end. This is the end of Howard telling Don's story. Um, I really love this. It, Her name is Grace Bowl. She's South Sudanese. Mm -hmm. um, we we lived together for like about six years as friends. Um, first, it was it was really hard for her to get inside for, for her to get for her to get signed. And that's like don't give up, don't give up. So every Friday night we would shoot, and. Finally, she got signed. I helped negotiate her contract. Um, she got signed. Um, and just giving that advice, like, look, um, you want to do this, you want to do that. But here's the beauty of it. She was, uh, remember during the, um, the war in the, in the, in, uh, South, in, the, in the Sudan? Mm -hmm. She's a child soldier. Wow. 
So at the time, the time she got signed, she was already in her late 30s. But she don't look it. Not her body that. is long and lean and beautiful. Um, like I said, her name is Grace Bowl, B-O-L-E. Mm -hmm. um, and I shot this for the cover of Profiles 98 magazine. Because um, I was doing this magazine and I felt like uh, anybody who I could put on or do whatever, you know, just put them on. And she had just came in and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't that long of a shoot. It was really quick and simple and, you know, Sometimes those are the best ones. Yeah. No, but I just love that there's like a whole story in her eyes. I just think that it's, I yeah, just, I just see it, you know, I, I just see it. It take you know, all of the, and like I said earlier, you know, this to me is the, the next step from that, that Erica Badu photo, right? And a, the lighting story. Yeah. The lighting, it was a, a butterfly light where, you know, you have the umbrella light in the front and a reflector and bunks a lot of a lot of light on the on the white so it can reflect back off her skin just to, you know just to highlight it and all of that no i love it i love it i just love that you could it looks like it looks like an old school silver print you know yeah. the way the the tonality is and the, the and then and then another thing too I discovered a way of processing black and white, converting black and white, black and white from color, but converting it to look like film. You know, mm -hmm. um, where you go through a whole bunch of motion, you take it this way, you take it that way. Right. Uh, but then when it, it looks just like film. It gives it, it gives it the depth of film. No, it's really, uh, it's really beautiful. It has that kind of old school. Uh, tri X kind of look, yes, look to it. Yes, 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 exactly yes. right. It's got that like that nice grainy. You know, mm -hmm. it's really I I I see it now that you explained it. I see it even more. And, and then like because I, I feel like uh, now the way I process the way I process or retouch stuff on in Photoshop, like I try not to let Photoshop uh, degrade the process and be as gentle as possible. And that's my thing that I struggle. I should say I struggle, but that's one that's one of my thing that I strive to do. Like when I when I whenever I retouch a picture, I just like really take my time and do it because there's a picture now that I'm working on. Yeah, but you know, so to me, it, back in the, you know, and not even now, but even at all times, to me it was always the retouching should be like a kiss. Yes. Right? Yes. It should be like a kiss. It should be just enough to improve the image and not be the image. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Is, you know, and I hate to say it, that might be my old school talking, but- No, but that's the truth, that's the truth. I hate when I see, I hate when I see uh, images and you know it's been retouched. You know, I don't mind you tweaking the color and turning it, hmm. you know, but if you're start, it, it, you know, if you're moving around stuff it, and it starts to take on some, that weird kind of over-processed look, yeah, you know, it's just I don't know. I it, it's yeah, not, I don't yeah, I don't like that. Me. Yeah, I want I want the images to be as as little retouch as possible. And if you have to do a lot to it, like maybe the person have bad skin or there's something that just needs to be fixed, just fix it. Even even if the person have a scar or the person have even if they have moles or, or pimples on no moles, if they have moles on their face, I leave all the moles. Now they have pimples and you know that's different. Yeah, I take them off. They got to take it off. But if it's part of their personality, yes, I agree. You got to leave it. And like I remember shooting something in um in Trinidad with this uh this redhead girl, this ginger girl. She's black, and she had freckles. Man, she's like, freckles everywhere, which I thought it was was the best. Um, we went to the store, and she was in the she was in the chair when I left. When I came back, they finished her makeup. They covered up all the freckles. I was like, what did you do? Right. <laughs> makeup artist was like, you know, she always have a, she always have them have her freckles covered up. I said, but that's not why she was hired. She was hired because of her freckles. I just take my hands and say, wipe that makeup off. Yeah. Uh, well, um, you know? 
you know, I agree with you. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing. So Don, thanks for being number two. Welcome to Howard Brightrose Studios off the mag. There you go. I really appreciate it. Your support is really important to me. Howard, guess what? You know? was back in the day, you was the one doing all the support. Yeah, well, you know. Now you know I'm... Like I said, I was telling somebody, I was like, look, there would be technical stuff. I said, yeah, Howard, read this. How would we read it and break it down and be like, blah, 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 blah. I said, oh, yeah. So, you know. Don, again, thanks so much. Give me a couple of days. I'll have you back. Once I get better, I'll get better. And we'll have some more fun. Your work is beautiful. I really appreciate it. It's, brother been, from another brother. it's been a, it's been a, yes, sir. It's been a, thank you for letting me look at your entire portfolio. For sure, for sure. I learned a lot about you. Oh, yeah. I'd like to thank Don. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I have a lot more interviews up and coming. Please don't hesitate to subscribe or ring the bell. This is a self-sponsored channel.